Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on YouTube channel. You can also follow the Mike Wagner Show also on Instagram and Twitter as well. We're here with a wonderful lady from California. She runs her own agency. Ponte Chili. We're going to find out what that exactly means. Um, you know, basically just has her own show band. She's a singer and does a little bit of songwriting and she's done just about everything. A very impressive lineup for very impressive clients and done um, Fortune 500, Society Crowds. And she has also worked with NBC, Ralph SeaWorld, also worked with Gladys Knight, Dion Warwick, Donnie Osmond and more. And um, also did some benefits as well, too, you know, with... Um, Doctors Without Borders, HEDA, ADL, ALDF, ECRM, Greenpeace, and more. And without further ado, live, ladies and gentlemen, from beautiful California, the very multi-talented April Doyle. April, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's fantastic. Such a great pleasure to have you with. And you've been a singer-songwriter. You also own Hate Chili. And uh, we'll ask about... Um, what that means and what that that's all about. You run a show band, you play for clients, Fortune 500, and you, and it's just amazing talent that you guys have. You also work with um nonprofit groups and all kinds of causes and everything else. You also got a song we'll be playing as well too. But for, for, and before we get into all that, um, tell us how you got started. Well, I was starting out as an actress and I was doing the modeling and I also was a makeup artist and. I had some friends that said one day, you know, do you sing? And I said, yeah. And they said, well, we're just going to have a little get together with some friends tonight. Why don't you join us? Well, that meeting that night turned into one of the top show bands in the U.S. And we were literally playing like 25 gigs a month. Wow. And so that's how I became aware of and part of the whole corporate entertainment thing. It's a very interesting side track I sort of think of it in the music industry um, a lot of people when they're not doing their projects if they know about it they are involved with corporate entertainment a lot mm -hmm. of headline a lot of headliners do corporate entertainment because it, it pays very well like these companies want to say thank you to their their top you know sellers their top you know like Mercedes will take their group to Maui to to give their top sellers a a beautiful vacation and we will be like the band on the last night type of deal. Or a lot of times they will have a headliner and sometimes we'll play with the headliner or sometimes we play after that. That's sort of like my day job music, the corporate entertainment scene. Mm -hmm. And then this other thing that you're, you're talking about playing the song, that's my uh, personal project that I've finally gotten around to because I've been spending so much time in this other aspect of music. So it's been a, been quite a ride like all over the place like all different aspects of entertainment that was amazing too i mean you just got a plethora of just about everything you've done and compared to me it's like oh my goodness i need some work and a lot of people need work i'll tell you that so <laughs> yeah people it's been it's especially this last year you know with all the i i never know exactly what it is it's usually when politics get a little iffy and you know uh corporate uh the, the corporate shows were slow last year. It's already, people are already feeling a little better. We're getting more calls and stuff. Um, it, it, there's a, it really depends on the temperature of what's going on politically and, and uh, no, you know, the, the stock market, et cetera. Mm -hmm. and, and how have you handled, um, you know, political events? Like if you're asked to uh, play at a political rally, political dinner and everything else. And uh, how do you manage to handle that without um, r really, um, you know, setting off like an inferno of, um, you know, some sorts? <laughs> well, do you want my do you want my true answer or do you want me to be do the, the politically correct answer? 
Um, it's your it's your call. You know, it just depends on on what they're asking us to do. There's some things that I will turn down. Um, the the current situation, we have not supported it in any way, shape, or form because it's um, that's a whole other that's a whole other show. Uh -huh. um, so you know, we've done a lot of inaugural balls. Um, of course, that's before you know really what's going on. Um, a lot of the bands at, at our level will do that kind of deal. It, it's a nice thing to be asked to do, but it's, um, again, you know, you need to be in support of what's going on, I guess, to mm -hmm. offer your time and energy. Right. And, and you say you, you run a, a corporate entertainment business and you have like clients from all over the world that are asking you all you know, for the band. And do you guys have like, um, you know, other people in your lineup, like other bands, other singers or comedians or you, you know, hostesses, anything like, or is it, or is it just you guys? Well, a lot, you know, there are things that we add sometimes because one of my main things that I, I, I tout is that we will tailor ourselves to the event. So it, it can be everything from like an award ceremony. Like sometimes they will be awarding their, their, the top people in the company. And we are like a tonight show band on stage playing for the walk on walk offs that when they come and get their awards. And then sometimes the band will break down to a different configuration for like a upper scale dinner and cocktails. And then afterwards, like a full costume change, add some girls, add some dancers, whatever. You know, it, it's always different. It's, it's kind of, that's what's fun about it is tailoring it to the energy that they want at their event. Uh, so sometimes we do add dancers. Sometimes we add, have a big horn section and the band is very kind of earth, wind and fire ish in their uh -huh. presentation. Um, it's always different. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, what was that one moment that influenced you not just get into uh, music and singing, but also getting into the, um, the corporate entertainment industry? Um, you know what? I, I just kind of was, kind of plopped into that with that first band I joined. We just kind of uh, were a popular style of music at that time. So I met a lot of agencies. I met a lot of agents. I met a lot of production companies. I met... So that was kind of a really nice in for me when I decided to do my own corporate band, uh, which is Hot Chile, by the way. Uh, it's just a little different. It's like, like actually it's Oat, but nobody says it correctly. So it's Hot oh. Chile. Hot Chile. Okay. Yeah. And and, and what does that exactly mean? How'd you come up with the name? I wish I could give you like a smart and, you know, like uh, a, 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 a chic answer to that. But I don't know. <laughs> we were kind of, we used to say that the band was configured for the Continental Fiesta. Uh-huh. That was our little catchphrase a while ago, quite a while ago. Um, so I guess we were trying to put French and Spanish together to try to give an international feel. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, a lot of people will call us hot chili. Huh. And, then I, and then I kind of grimace and, and then, and then <laughs> <laughs> gracefully correct them. Um, yeah, so I, 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 it kind of backfired on me, but we've got so much name equity now because we've been in the business for you know 15 years. And so I don't want to change it. We have a new band that just came out called Hot Lux. And Hot they're- Lux. Yeah, they're they're amazing. It's all current, all dance, all like you know, because that's the number one we pressed right now is all current music. Hot Chili is is a beautiful mix of standards. I mean, you know, and a some current, some classic, some seventies, some eighties. Hot Lux is like all current. Um, I've got um, the lead person singing in my band in that band. Uh, J.P. Castillo, he just got off the road with J.Lo and he goes out with the Jacksons and he sings Michael Jackson's parts and songs. Um, he's uh, unbelievable. And so he sings all, you know, the, the Latin dance stuff is so popular right now and he just kills it. So we've got a new video out now, Hot Lux and our um, HoteChilePR.com is that website. And again, we cater to, you know, all kinds of high-end private clients, corporate, celebrity, high-end society. Uh, that's our sort of, again, our upper scale day job music.
<laughs> that is amazing, too. I'll talk more about that. We'll also uh, get into your music as well, too. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Stitcher, Deezer, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter. We're here with April Doyle from the Haute Chile um, you know, company that does uh, corporate entertainment. And she's also a singer as well, too, and uh, started as an actress, makeup artist, as she has done so. And she'll display some singing for us. And we've got a song called Tears Are Gone. This is April Doyle right here on the Mike Wagner Show.
Wow, that was beautiful. April Doyle, Tears Are Gone on the Thank Mike you. Wagner Show. That was fantastic. Tell us more about that song as well, too, and what inspired you to write this beautiful tune, soon to be a classic. Thank you so much. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, been, it's gotten an interesting response. Uh, some people think it's it's sad, and I've heard people say, you know, that, that song was beautiful, it made me cry. And then some people have told me that it makes them feel hopeful, because that's kind of where I was coming from when I wrote it, was that, you know what, my tears are gone. Uh, I'm done with the the sadness in this situation, and it's time to move onward and upward. It was kind of uh -huh. like a, you know, a hopeful feeling that I had when I wrote it. Um, but uh, it's it's it, it's definitely a sensitive song. There, it's being considered for a movie right now. I'm, I've got oh. my fingers crossed. Um, I think it'd be great in a movie. You know, like maybe during the credits or something, or 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 somewhere in the movie. You know, just a sensitive moment or whatever, because the the melody and everything is kind of pulls your heartstrings a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and where and where can people purchase your music or listen to it? We've got okay on uh, on Facebook, which is at april and the velvet room there is a link on the page to the right that you can click on it it has everything it's got all the videos all the songs etc then there's a good old web page www april and the velvet room then there's instagram i don't know if it, i don't think you can get the songs or anything on instagram so basically facebook and the website are where you can download um check it out just you know experience it Mm -hmm. And of course, I agree. Your uh, friend in the background is doing some barking about it. He goes, I love that song. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is there's a real there's a superstar here and she wants to take over. She's a miniature bull terrier. I don't know if you're. In oh, the dogs. really? You, you, she, you know, you, you know something? Go ahead and um, put her on as well, too. And while you try to uh, get her on camera and um, make her look pretty, we'll talk more about that. You listen to the Mike Wagner show at the Mike Wagner show dot com powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, The Mike Wagner Show, give me her on themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take The Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device, including a friend here. Also, take it as, as well, iPhone, Android, smartphone, Alexa, or your tablet. And you can also subscribe to The Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter. We're here with April Doyle of HauntedChile.com and um, also part of the um, April in the Velvet Room. She did a little singing for us and uh, told us about the agency. And right now we have another star that's on the show. And uh, tell us about your uh, wonderful canine. This is a superstar. This is Frankie. Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Hi. Hello. Frankie. Isn't Hello. she beautiful? She's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. She's stunning. Hello, Frankie. Hello. Oh, Hi. she's looking. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, she's got her jewels on. And wow. she's, yeah, she's something else. And, and, and tell me, uh, what breed is uh, Frankie? She's a miniature bull terrier. I wanted a bull terrier. They're like 60 pounds. And I didn't want to load in and out of the truck with the 60 pounds. So I got the 30 pound one. And I'm telling you, she can almost pull you over. These guys are so smart and so strong. She is, she's, she's a joy, but she's a workout. Miniature bull terrier. She doesn't yep. like miniature to me. Wow. No, I, <laughs> I know it's that nose, right? I call, her, I call, I call her nosy Perez. Nosy Perez. Hey, did you hear that Frankie? Frankie. Yo, Frankie, Frankie. Hey, woo, 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 woo. Oh, she listens. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I'm not, so, I'm not an animal trainer yet, but I think I've got something going on. <laughs> you might you might have some. Yeah, you might have something else to do down the road. She's something else. She's a 
she's really, she's just very tenacious. So I had her, you know, put away because I thought she would try to take over the interview. As, uh-huh. she, did, as she did, but, you know. We, 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 you know something? I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing is that I'm going to share is that I love having animals, you know, come on the show. If you hear like a kitty cat or a dog, you know, barking or, you know, kids running around. It's like I encourage them to come on the show. It's like, you All know. Right, well, are, are you serious? Yes, that's okay, right. Are I, right. Okay, are you ready? Yes, that's right. right. And you're going to bring another ready? one out? Okay, ready? go ahead. Okay. And of course, you know, while we're doing that as well, too. And um, once again, you can check out the Mike Wagner show dot com. And, um, you know, one day I could be an animal trainer, too. And we do have some animal trainers coming up. And now we'd like to introduce our next superstar and uh, <laughs> tell us about him and what breed is he? This is the Ted man, a.k.a. Teddy. And he is a French bulldog and he weighs about 30 pounds. He's very sweet, very smart, very protective. He's he's a little more sensitive than Frankie. Frankie's just like bull in a china shop, but Teddy's kind of a, I don't know, he wants to check things out, and he, uh, well, he lost a buddy. He lost a buddy when he was younger, and after he lost a buddy, he got, like, sensitive. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Teddy. Hello. Hello, hi, Teddy. Hi. Hi, Teddy. Isn't he Hello. cute? Oh, yes. Adorable. Adorable. I have, some ep- I have epic dogs. And then I've got another, I've got a 90 pound blue nose pit bull, but he doesn't live at this house. He lives at our other house. That um, that um That's okay. We'll have him on another time. We'd like to have you back on as well, too, with um, awesome. more music and everything else. And of course, if you want to bring more pets in, that's great. You know, in, in fact, I was going to tell you a story about my animal stories that I was doing Facebook Live and something similar to this, just trying this out. I've been a radio guy for quite some time. And my uh-huh. cat, Taylor, an orange tabby, jumps down right in front of me and starts hogging the microphone and the camera and guess who got more likes and comments on the live Facebook feed. That's classic. That's classic. That cat. Yes, that's that's right. And of course I discover that and I tell people all the time and I encourage everybody, if you're a guest on the Mike Wagner show, if you have kids that happen to jump in or you have like a dog or cat make noise or a bird that's quack, squawk, it's like, just come on board. That's all. It makes it more entertaining. So. It totally does. It totally does. You can't have too many animals. I, I might say you could have too many kids, but not too many animals. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I'll tell you that. And of course, I did forget to ask this one question. Where did you um? Where did you get the dogs at? Uh, well, I am a, a major uh, animal activist, and that they the. The nonprofits that you mentioned, are, it's been a, a, a heartfelt deal for me for quite a while. PETA and ALDF and Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, they got like 25 colleges to stop vivisection on animals and stuff. So I have always rescued, except for those two, I, I'm, I'm confessing, um, with the French Bulldog, um, because they're a completely man-made dog, I knew that I needed to get one from a breeder or I was going to be at the hospital every day. So I did get him up in Long Beach from a breeder and um, he's, he's eight years old and he's had really good health because you know, that's uh, again, it's not a natural breed. And then the uh, Frankie, um, I always had wanted a, a bull terrier and um, I had couldn't find any in the area. I didn't even see any at the, you don't see them that often. They weren't, weren't even at the rescue or the shelters. So I found a breeder in Washington and those are the only two dogs I've ever gotten from a breeder and all the other ones are rescues. I swear. Oh my gosh. That is something. And you seem to have, um, you know, and a good amount of clientele. And, um, what do you say a percentage of your clientele is a nonprofit at your uh, events? Um, I'd say probably about 20%. There's not that many, but I mean, we do a lot of that. We do the ASPCA, we do the Humane Society, we do, um, there's a, a very well-known place in San Diego called um, Helen Woodward, and uh, we've done their, we do their events every year. What I do is, if, if somebody calls me, like if it's Rady's Children's Hospital or Scripps or something, I, I, don't, I don't give them my regular price sheet. I, I find out what kind of budget they're dealing with, and then... I, you know, I want to take care of my musicians, but I do whatever I can for them because obviously it's not a typical corporate event. They're trying to raise money to keep this, to keep their, you know, their institution moving forward. And I think that that's worthwhile. So, and the band does too. The band has no problem taking a cut and pay to support something worthwhile. 
That is amazing what you guys do as as a corporate entertainment industry and a corporate band. And um, how can people help these um, not for profit, as you mentioned? Well, I guess you know there's so many of them now. I you know I basically I I realized you know, somebody brought it up to me. I was doing so many things for the animals, and somebody one time said to me, you know, if you felt for people the way you feel for animals, it might change your life. And I thought about that, and I thought, you know, I should support so uh, su support people the way that I support animals. So I I took some time to figure out which um, nonprofits I thought were solid and really needed support. So I do Rady's children, you know, they, they take care of kids and they don't you know, with cancer and they don't charge them a dime. And then uh -huh. doctor doctors without borders is pretty amazing. They, you know, they have these airplanes and they fly into these destitute countries or villages and they, they do, they'll do like one trip and just, you know, uh, fix cleft palates or they'll go in and, and, you know, they do all kinds of, um, I'm I'm not doing it any justice the way I'm describing it. I, I encourage people to look up Doctors Without Borders online and look at the how much they reach out and what they do. It's it's pretty amazing. That is amazing. And I love what you do and everything else. I mean, you're just fantastic. And of course, going back to your uh, singing as well, too, and uh, being in the industry, who are some of your favorite uh, performers growing up, like with um, artists, singers, musicians, actors, or, you know, or say even um, comedians uh, growing up? Well, you got three hours. Or you speed up like a chipmunk. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you know, my mom. My mom got me listening to a lot of. My mom had a really extensive, wide range of music that she would listen to, and I heard things that probably a lot of other kids didn't hear, like Bobby Short and Nancy Wilson. And I heard wow. my mom. My mom listened to a lot of jazz. She listened to Stan Getz and um, Jobim and all that. And and I I really learn to love that stuff. It's, I think it expanded my, my ears, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so then I, I was really into R and B, uh, more than rock when I went into grade school and high school. Um, but really just, you know, kept that love for the old classic standards. And that's how this project started April in the velvet room. I w I was just going to record some old songs that I, that I had adored that my mom had shared with me like when uh nancy wilson song a phyllis hyman song um and then the musical director producer kevin flournoy who is the musical director for pointer sisters he works with shaka khan he works with babyface he works with uh uh jeffrey osborne a lot of people we just started he's like do you have any songs i'm like yeah i have songs and it was just way too easy like i would bring us a lyrics out and boom, we'd have like these great songs. And so we started, you know, this project like started to transition from me recording some old favorites into getting all these originals going. And um, it was a really cool thing. And then the people that were hearing our music was they were really loving it. So I, I you know, I liked a lot of I like Layla Hathaway. I like Rafael Sadiq, of course, Prince. Um, Stokely, love his voice. Will Downing, um, I like you know R and B based primarily. Wow, I, like, I that love is Steely amazing. Dan. Love Steely Dan. Oh, I mean, who doesn't love Steely Dan? I got to say that. <laughs> well, it's, it's, Steely Dan is an interesting bird because if you don't have musical ears and you hear what they're doing, it just sounds like pop radio. But if you know about music and you hear what they're doing, they will have. It'll sound like a pop radio song on top and underneath will be an entirely other song, like an orchestral thing done with full string section and everything. It, they're, they're unbelievable. They're, that's, mm -hmm. It's many, many, many layers, so to speak. It, they're, I didn't, and I didn't hear that when I was younger. You know, that was like a, a thing that I started to hear as I learned more about music. I, I learned what they were doing and it was really mm -hmm. appreciated. What's but your favorite steel? What's your favorite Steely Dan song? And you don't have to do the dirty work for this. Bing, bing. Um, <laughs> you know what? I like all of them. I, I like, uh, of course, FM was funky. You know, that was funky back in the day. But Yes, um, my fave. That was a good one. Uh, I don't know. There's just so many iconic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, just the, those intros and the just, 
I, you know what? There's nothing that they do that I don't like. I, I'm they're they're going to come down to San Diego in June, and I'm definitely going to go see them. Oh, nice. Okay, I I enjoy the black cow as well too. Drink a big black cow. Get out of here, Deacon Blue. And um, there's also a few of those too. It's like those two just really stand out in my mind. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just fantastic. And, of course, you know, we just have a couple of minutes right here. We'd definitely love to have you back on sometime um, before the year is over, April. And um, I just have to, um, you know, just a couple of things here. Uh, what do you consider your most defining moment or e even a funny moment when it came to your band, like at a corporate event? Um, well, there's been some staggering things that have happened at certain events. It's uh, We've experienced a lot of interesting things internationally. And 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 at home, um, uh, weddings are our least favorite because that's when some odd things happen. Some very odd <laughs> things happen when they, you know, it's their big day and they might drink too much. And then we've had people. One guy tried to do a dive on the dance floor and broke his neck. Oh. Yeah, and and then laying on the dance floor and the band is looking at each other like, okay. You can't keep playing when something happens like this. You know, what do you, what do you do? God bless the guy. He had too much to drink and, and there you go. So, um, you know, we, we don't, you don't have that kind of stuff happening so much with, you know, your, your indie projects, you know, when you're going out doing jazz or, or R and B or it seems like a lot of wild things happen more at the corporate events than the original events. Mm hmm. It it does sound interesting as well, too. And uh, who's the biggest influence in your career? Uh, the biggest influence in my career. Um, you know, I, I would have to say Kevin Flournoy, the, my producer, uh, because he, you know, we took he kind of guided me from doing my classic favorites into helping me see that my artistry was big enough to handle a this project i mean everybody on this album has got credits for days i mean they're it's it's stunning i mean these guys have worked with the jacksons and Cher and diana ross and elton john and, and i'm like i'm just stunned you know and and they all like to they they enjoyed recording my music that's a mm -hmm. huge pat, pat on the back from you know people wow. that have been in the industry at that level you know so mm -hmm. and we're and we're also going to be we're we've, we're going to be performing at um, Herb Alpert's Club Vibrato in Bel Air, California, on March eighth. Nice, I love yeah. Herb Alpert. Yeah. Wow. So we're, we're looking gonna forward to, to um, that. Yes, we're going to have to um, head out there and check that out as well too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point that wants to be in music? Um, best advice in general, either music or what you do or just it, anything in what general. What you do, you know what? You got to be authentic. If you're not being authentic in your life, with your music, with your job, it's it just comes back and, and bites you. It, it You might be able to get away with it for a while, but you don't feel good about it. There, it's not you're, not you're not really living if you're not being authentic. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, telling the truth and and and, and de dealing with everybody, every race, every color, every religion, with respect. You know, mm -hmm. that is that is something to to remember as well too. And April, just want to give a thank you for your time. April Doyle, she's the owner of a uh, hot hot chile dot com, and also April in the Velvet Room, and also our uh, corporate entertainment. And before we go, tell us about your upcoming projects, your website, how do people contact you, and um. Where can people um where can people um you know purchase your uh, music? Um, on Facebook at it, at April in the Velvet Room, there is a link on the Facebook page to the right that has all of the videos, songs, everything all on one page. You can check everything out. There's also uh, in Instagram at April in the Velvet Room again, and then the web uh, pay, the website is www april and the velvet room that's fantastic april door just want to say a big thank you for your time you've been thank fantastic you so learned a lot learned a lot from you and um looking forward to having you again soon and uh do us a favor keep us up to date we'd love to have you back thank you so much take care <laughs>